However, at the beginning of uh, this year, our um, 10.11 series went long-term support uh, for five years of that. Uh, and we're continuing the same pattern. Uh, Colin mentioned the uh, early uh, the version numbering sort of jump. Um, what we've decided as, as our uh, process now is that, you know, after we release a long-term support release, uh, we'll bump the major version. So the long-term support release is always going to be uh, the um, major, major minor version below the, the big, big numbers on that. My apologies, I'm going to have to try this again. Tony.cc Maria DB Zappos AC. Oops. Almost did it. Almost did. Don't stuff it up. Don't stuff it up. Hey, except that. So, so to be a bit um, different um, from usual. Uh, I'm actually doing this presentation at Juniper Notebook, which was one of our developed features from our, uh, one of our former staff members. Uh, if you want to follow on this tinycc slash MariaDB Asia, we'll bring you up an instance where you can play with the running server. Um, as before I said, you know, our GA started in 2011. Um, so if we uh, run that, and this is what I'm running in this uh, test instance on this little cloud service. So new features, I'll run into them a little bit quickly. Um, UUID is now a data type. This was added in 10.7. Uh, strangely enough, it looks like a UUID. Um, uh, you can refer to it as, uh, just as a text name there. Um, you can insert things into it, um, and they come back as the text of a UUID. You can convert uh, binary strings um, in as into a UUID, uh, and and you expect that if you got something invalid, um, you can expect it to fail and give a warning. Strangely enough, just what a normal data type is meant to do. So 10.7 um, uh, is when we added that UUID data type. The other data type that was added is iNet version 4. Uh, you may ask what happened to iNet version 6. Well, actually, iNet version 6 was added all the way back in uh, 10.5. So, a quick um, recap: there is an iNet version five, uh, iNet version six here. It can take uh, 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 IP version four mapped addresses and also IP version six addresses, as you'd expect. So, what we added was iNet version four as a data type. It strangely enough stores them. Um, and treats them exactly like a, a data type there with validations as you'd expect. In MariaDB uh, 10. Point, um, where was it? 10.10, um, 10, I think we added this UCA collations. So uh, historically, MariaDB has been on the uh, collation standard of the UCA of 5.2.0. Um, we finally updated to the latest collection series of 14.0.0. Um, uh, being a standards body, they seem to move quickly. It's now after 15. Sorry, we can't quite move that quickly. Um, but, you know, it was a major effort to get this collation uh, work in. So what this means is these are all the new collations that are available. Uh, for those that dealt with um, MySQL collations before, there's a case insensitive and a case sensitive um, version of these, um, and what what is new is the AI and the AS, and that's the accent sensitive and accent insensitive versions of them. Uh, we'll see, like uh, previous ones, there's a notepad and a pad collation, depending on how you want to actually treat 
um, white space in your um, collations. So this is there for all the languages of the standard going through. Yes, there's a lot of them uh, on that. And what you do is you just attach this to uh, a UTF-8 uh, type uh, and you've got your own collation there. Since 10.7, uh, we've obviously been uh, catching up with the world on using a lot of JSON uh, functions. So there's this JSON equals, um, two JSON objects are equal uh, if they're the same. Um, if they're not the same, it returns false, which is kind of what you expect. To make things a little bit easier, we've actually made a, a JSON normalized function to bring the, the text of a JSON object down to a normalized form. And the useful for, for this um, is actually if you want to actually have a, a unique JSON object in your tables, um, you just uh, create a generated column as uh, JNorm um, here, and that's the normalized value of it. It's a virtual. We had a unique key on it, and what that means is that if we insert Alice with blue that way and try to uh, rearrange it and do it uh, insert again, we've got uh, a duplicate key error. So that's one way to normalize it down. Uh, JSON Pretty um, is pretty much the same as JSON Detail in MySQL, just creates a pretty version of it. Um, and this was a quick community contribution that we received. Probably should list them a little bit more. Got a CRC function, was mainly added for a test case, but um, it's there for everyone else. Uh, Random Bytes was also a user contribution from our community that wanted the same as the, the MySQL function, so that one's there now. Uh, JSON histograms, uh, for those that remember back to the MariaDB 10.1 days, there was a uh, move to have histograms there that represents the distribution of the data uh, over a table. So what JSON histograms does is uh, extends this uh, syn syntax in the way that it's stored in the table uh, to give better selectability, particularly around those edge cases um, as data changes from you know one string to another, uh, gives a better granularity that way, and so you'll get kind of better queries. So here we create a table. We push a bunch of values into it. Um, we run an analyze table with histograms with the the JSON HB histogram type, and what we see in the column stats at the end, um, all the way at the end, as this case may be, is just a histogram in a JSON format that describes the, the layout of the table, where they th things start and where things end. And, and obviously, as you move towards a uh, bigger uh, data set, this will becomes uh, a lot more significant on that. Another function, um, JSON uh, sort key, uh, natural sort key. Uh, too busy on the JSON mindset. So natural sorts is, I guess, when you've got uh, numbers and letters all in the same thing, you want the, the numbers to be sorted in a numerical order and the alphanumerics in an alpha numeric order. So we create a table, uh, sort of a bunch of things. Um, if we didn't have a natural sort key, what we'd see here is that A2 came after A11, which doesn't actually um, mean not the natural sort of order that people may see things in. But if we do a, a natural sort key as the order by, obviously not the um, most efficient way to do it, what we see is the A1, A2, A11 uh, coming out in that order. Some applications of this you may not uh, immediately think of. If you want, say, IP uh, addresses sorted um, or anything with actually uh, a bunch of numbers separated, um, you can make this to make sure the numbers uh, the IP addresses come out in order. Uh, another useful application for this is if you've got version numbers in a table and you want them to come out in order, um, just do a natural sort key on that and they'll come out in order. Uh, not sure why I did it twice. Maybe. Why is this never the gun? Uh, for those who have played with um, large amounts of concatenation, string left, string right, um, and alignment, and trying to do um, 
arguably silly things like formatting in databases. Uh, we've made the S format function uh, there to make things a little bit easier. So this introduces a pretty much a JSON kind of formatting uh, a function into the database. Um, so you can format it uh, there. This is based on the lib format library, which is um, going to be introduced into the C20 standard. But uh, for the mo most part now, it's um, an external library. And this will allow you to do things like um, use two values here and just pass arguments at the end. Um, if you were to do that in previously, you'd end up with a, a bunch of string concat functions, possibly a bunch of cast functions. Um, so now you just get it all pretty much easily there. And there's a whole bunch more features in the uh, format, uh, like left alignment, uh, the things you normally see in printf anyway. Uh, descending indexes, um, something that uh, MySQL uh, had for a while, but we finally got them, uh, was if you're doing a, a sort um, where uh, one index is in one direction and, and you're doing an order by that field and an order by the other field in the other direction, uh, now uh, you can de declare the index uh, that maps to that correctly. So uh, you can use the entire index for the sorting rather than just part of it and, and relying on it to sort afterwards. Uh, and yeah, a couple of query plans will get through that fine. Uh, convert petitions. Uh, for those who um, have worked with petitions and trying to get uh, a petition out into a table or a table into a petition, um, you may have seen these steps before. Uh, you, you have, from a table, you do an alter, uh, we create a new petition, we remove a petition, we exchange it and drop the other one. Um, or if you're doing the other way, moving a normal table into a petition, you get the values and then, then you try to swap and exchange things before. What we've done now is we've created a simplified syntax where you've got one alter table uh, variant to move a petition into a normal table and another alter table uh, variant to convert a normal table um, straight into a petition uh, with the constraint uh, around you know the, the values in that petition. Oh, so that's I guess one simplification. Uh, system version tables, um, they were there since 10.5 if I remember so it, it's a rather old feature so what's the new aspect here uh, is we've gained the ability with uh, enabled uh, system variable that you can actually insert into a table. So you're actually able to migrate um, data that might be in ordinary tables into system tables. So a quick recap on what um, system versioning is. Uh, if we've got a table, um, we see it's only got one column. Um, it's got system versioning enabled. Uh, when we uh, insert it into it, uh, we've got these two magic uh, columns, row start and row end, and they represent timestamps of when was that single value um, in th valid in that table. So here it was developed from the beginning of 1980 to uh, 20 hours and one second later in, in, in 1980. It doesn't exist. So what you can do is you can query it as of, you know, one second into the interval, if the value is there, um, any time before it, it didn't exist. And so that's the advantage system version tables. You've got a concept that there's a current table and there's what was in the past, and you've got this extended as of syntax to query what was in the past. Query, query a password reset uh, reuse plugin. Um, very simple plugin, uh, means you just can't set the same password twice and it regains a history on that for those that need that sort of uh, compliance. Uh, just keep in mind that, you know, while we add these things like plugins um, of password reuse, uh, there's actually a plugin API for that. So you can actually develop your own um, plugins for password reuse. Um, and all the way back to even data types, uh, the data types is actually a plugin 
in MariaDB. So you can actually write your own data types if you are so inclined. Uh, there's a working community that's going on to uh, make some of these plugins a lot more available by making wrappers in Rust. So you can write your own wrappers in um, plugins in Rust and get those into the server. There's a HashiCorp uh, key management plugin, um, uh, just like um, Pocona has, uh, to integrate with the key managers. And this integrates with our uh, freely available uh, transparent data encryption um, that's been there since 10.0, 10.1, long time. Uh, and if it was installed in this machine, it would show up. Uh, Get Diagnostics is a uh, mechanism that's sort of not commonly seen. Um, if you've got a value and sort of have got like one value in uh, and you insert a value, you get a duplicate uh, entry uh, for the primary key. Uh, for this one, it's fairly obvious that it's the second one because that's the only value. Uh, if you had more complex, um, unique key constraints, uh, or otherwise that it's not really obvious uh, which one was have. So if you want to do some error handling, you can say get diagnostics and we get, it was the second row number two, that was the error handling. Uh, function attributes, in, out, in, out are now a function uh, attributes. So you can um, make sure you're using uh, your functions the right way. Um, in, in most cases, there's a, a constraint about it being in a select that's not valid. Uh, Alter, um, yep, um, Pandy's going to do a, a talk later, so I'm not actually going to cover this. Um, he'll, he'll cover that a lot more better, but in the replication, um, that Alter tables are, are pushed through a lot quicker. MariaDB bin log, um, I think there's a community contribution as well. Finally got all the arguments to support GTID data types um, that was uh, added in 1010. So you can do a, a start position, um, a stop position, and use GTIDs in, in the full native way that you would have used um, bin log positions before. On Scenarios, I guess you're sometimes frequently uh, transferring a, a master to, to a replica or a slave uh, and back um, with the GTIDs. Uh, if you didn't know them really, really well, it was easy to get them mixed up. Uh, so what we've added is just a um, change master, demote to slave, single instruction, um, hard to get it wrong, um, and that would just uh, swap the uh, positions around on it and enable it to become um, a, a replica. Uh, grant to public, it's not the same as anonymous user. It means that every um, SQL user has access to the test uh, in this table, uh, which is fine. Uh, read only, we've split out the read only from the super user. Um, so it's a separate grant and there's reasons you may want to do that around um, orchestration and management. For NADB and the underlyings, we've got a, a fast insertion. Uh, we've got um, the resize of uh, so the table spaces. You can uh, re do a number of them on a restart. And that's about all I've got time for. So yeah, there's a, a few things there. A few text searches, bit better memory management and a bit of auto versioning. So um, apologies for running late, uh, and there's also some other UI improvements. So uh, any questions or feature requests? Um, I have a question. Sure. Um, you mentioned UUID types. Yeah. Um, are all UUID types supported, or is it, yes. and is there a generator for them? So can you, if you use them as like a, in place of an auto increment, um, 